this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at are two plates, three by six inches. And these plates are separated by one sixteenth of an inch instead of one eighth of an inch. The question is just how close can you get the plates and how much voltage do you have to use? What I'm doing here is submerging the plates in distilled water. There are no electrolytes in the plate in the water at all. If you look up here you'll see I've got three batteries which I'll be putting in series one after the other. So we start with 12 volts and we're going to be able to see what happens going from 12, 24, and 36 volts. I also will have an amp meter here and a voltmeter so we can pay attention to the particulars. The meter on the right is the voltmeter, the meter on the left is the amp meter. And hopefully we'll be able to see what's going on here. Remember there are no there's no electrolyte in here. Okay, we're gonna hook it up now. We're looking at the twelve oh eight volts. And we're hooked up. Take a good look at this. Okay, no electrolyte. No action. Well, we do have a little action. Let's take a... Not much, but something. Remember the plates are sixteenth of an inch apart. You can see just some action starting. This is at 12 volts. And we're talking about 0 0.07 amps. And you can see Plates warm up just a little bit. Ah, oh, there you go. We're getting a little action here. No electrolyte, just distilled water. Right now, 0.07 amps. And you can see something is happening. So what I'm going to do next is change this over and let's go to 24 volts. Okay, we're now at 24 volts. Actually, we're at 23.9 and 0.16 amps. You can see we're getting a little more action. Twenty three nine point one five amps.
And then what I'm going to do is take this up to 24 volts. Okay, we're at 24 volts. I'm sorry, we're at 3580 volts. Well, it's fluctuating a little bit. First, let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, we're at 3310 volts at point. 2-1 amps. Remember there's no electrolyte. This is distilled water. Get another view of this. Okay, we're at 33.2 volts at 0.21 amps. Interesting, right? Okay, we're going to up the voltage. I'm going to add one more battery to this. Okay, we're now at 46.9. And I'm going to get our amp meter hooked up to here. Just a moment. Okay, we're hooked up. So now we're at... We have a voltage drop on there, of course, so we're at 45.6 amps. I'm sorry, 45.5 volts, and we're running at 0.29 amps. And let's see what we got. So this is 45.4 zero volts. Remember there's no electrolyte. We were running 0.28 amps. Here's another view. That's 45 volts, 0.4. That's your voltage. That's your amperage, 0.28. As you can see, it's going to take a lot more voltage to get the potential enough, so we'll have enough hydrogen out of there, but that's what you have. No electrolyte. But you are seeing something. And that's something, right? Another view. So this is what 45 volts looks like at 0.29 amps.